Your target date fund may be your new landlord and we're gonna talk about that. Welcome to the Maluli Asset Show. I'm your host, Tom Maluli, and this is episode number 363. Thanks for tuning in. Your target date fund may be your new landlord. How is that even possible? That sounds ridiculous. We're finding out that more and more target date funds are investing in direct real estate, meaning they are taking their investors' dollars and they're buying apartment complexes. They're buying office parks, they're buying shopping centers, they're buying warehouses. How is this even possible? Well, let me hit the pause button for a second here and just explain what target date funds are and how they work. When you see a fund that's a target date fund, it says target 2040, 2050, 2060, the investments and the allocation of those investments inside your fund are managed so that when you reach 2030 or 2040 or 2050 at some point in the future, when you get to that point 20 years from now, most of the investments are going to be in something lower risk. You won't have that much exposure to the stock market or really in growth, the allocation will be more in secure things. It's directed towards the day date that you intend to retire or need the money. So these things worked out great for college funds, for retirement plans, but things may be coming off the rails and I think it's important that you know about this. When you look under the hood of a target date fund, you're going to find some mix of uh, stocks, mutual funds, uh, and you're also going to, for growth, and then you're also going to find some investments that are invested for income. On the income side, you're gonna find a short-term bond fund, an intermediate-term bond fund, longer-term bond fund. You're gonna find a junk bond fund. And you're also gonna find, periodically, a real estate investment trust that trades as a fund. Part of these are now being replaced with direct investments into an apartment complex. It's really a head scratcher when you stop and think about it. Prior to 2017, only 3% of all mutual funds invested in direct real estate projects. Fast forward to today, 21% of all mutual funds have some degree of exposure to direct real estate. It's exploded in the last couple of years. Is this gonna be a good investment moving forward we don't really know. See, direct real estate investments, like what we're talking about, that used to just be the realm of pension plans and insurance companies. They could do that because they have a 30-year time horizon, 40 years, sometimes even 50-year time horizon. They're going to need that money in the future for future payouts. Target date fund, uh, not so much. So we're a little puzzled. Uh, to see the amount of funds that are starting to get plowed into direct real estate investments. And you're gonna be surprised, I think, at some of the names that are investing directly into real estate. Uh, Fidelity Freedom Funds, is, their target date funds are now investing in direct real estate. Uh, JP Morgan, their smart retirement target date fund are now doing the same thing. And TIA Cref, is also investing their life cycle target date funds into direct real estate. So again, is this really a good idea? I can't speculate on whether it's a good idea in the short term, what the short term performance is gonna be like for direct real estate. I can tell you that these assets are not liquid. Uh, mutual funds by law, can only have 15% of their, up to 15% of their assets in non-liquid investments like real estate. So they're going to be capped, but we're seeing more and more funds put money into these investments. It's something that we talk about all the time when we're meeting with clients. You need to know how your money is invested. This shouldn't be a surprise. 
the fact that we're seeing more money get invested into direct real estate is it's eye popping for us to see the amount of funds that now own direct real estate. We don't know if that's going to be such a good idea five years from now, 10 years from now. We think you ought to know. That's the message for episode 363. Thanks as always for tuning in.